I'm mad that I thought you was already following me, but maybe not. And I'm always trying to show up to your stream if I can. You know, always looking, oh, always looking for more um, Warframe players. I thought so too. Oh my God, is that from the Wiz? Ah, you know, that's from the Wiz. Yes. That is from the Wiz. So this is on. I'm, this is me on PS4. Um, I'm further along in this account than on my own. Um, than on my PC account, which I gotta give my PC account some love. One of my favorite movies. See, see, I, I knew I liked you for a reason. One of my favorite. That's one of my favorite movies as well. I blame my big. I blame my big sister for that though. She when she played that movie a million times until I lo until I had no choice but to like it. My sister is also very obsessed. <laughs> yes, yes. I love the movie though. I love the movie. Oh, man, I'm sweating. I got the window open you now. It's cold. It is cold here in New York today. Right, well, right now I'm in right now I'm in Connecticut, but it's still cold here. <laughs> oh man! So yeah, Monzi, I've played this mostly on PS4, but I play on PC as well. But I haven't played the game period in a long time. And on PC, I haven't made much progress. Like even on here, I'm only MR10, and on PC, I'm MR3. Loving your mag a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to Setna after this though. This is the actor that's Dorothy in a stage reproduction of the Wiz and Hong back in Hong Kong. Oh wow. Oh, sure. she, that means she can really sing man. Big sis can really sing, man. Gotta be able to sing to play Dorothy. Catch up on chat a little bit. Uh, oh, okay, Mara, Mara, I saw what you said. Yeah, he, you said he's moving eventually. That's what I was wondering. I was like, I thought one of y'all was moving. Had to catch up on chat. Uh, Yeah, I was so indoctrinated into the love of the Wiz at a very young age. Yup. And it's funny too because everybody thinks of like the Wizard of Oz and stuff. So the original story of the Wonderful Wizard of Oz was a book written like in the, back in the 1919 or something like that. It was like back in the early 1900s. That's when it was written. So that's what they based the movie and the plays off of the Wizard Girl, the, the children, the old children's book. The Wiz actually told the story more accurately than the Wizard of Oz movie that we all that everybody knows and love. The Wiz actually told a more accurate story. She never had ruby red slippers. She never had ruby black slippers. In the original book, she had silver slippers. So of course, when in the Wiz had silver slippers, I'm like, yo, did you read the book, bro? Like that's the, that's the way it was. Sony still didn't fix that for me. Man, that move. If that movie just had a little bit more fun, the better camera set, it would have been less underrated. It was still pretty good for what they had, for what they did. I mean, the, you gotta think about it. The movie was so good because of who they had. They had three great singers. They had Ted Ross as a lion, Dark. Diana Ross as Dorothy, Michael Jackson's the Scarecrow, and and Nipsey Russell was the Tin Man. All were known for being great singers. Then 
Then on top of that, Quincy Jones did the entire soundtrack. Quincy Jones. Before we before he was Quincy though. Before he was Quincy. He did the whole soundtrack. Before we knew before we knew him as before we knew him as that. Matter of fact. Without, without here's something people don't know. Without the Wiz, we don't get off the wall or thriller. Maybe compared to other big production stuff in the same year range, yeah, you can tell they got gypped. I would, I would definitely have to look at that. I felt like it was pretty good for the time, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna lean on the side of your poly, right? I'm going after. The next after this wave, I, I gotta do some. I gotta do some. I'm gonna do some quick. I'm gonna do a quick mod, and then I'm going to set it uh, to level up some more. That movie was incredible in terms of choreography, costuming, set design, directing, casting, composing, everything. Yep, everything. Yes. Was dope. But yeah, here's a lesser known story about um, the Wiz. So, on this, you know, Quincy Jones is doing all the music for, for, for the Wiz. Of course, Michael, Michael wants to go solo at this time. He hasn't gone solo yet. He says, hey, Quincy, he asked Quincy one day, like, hey, do you know anybody that can produce on my album? Cause I'm trying to go solo. I'm trying to pitch it to Motown. I'm trying to pitch it to some of these folks about me making a solo album. So he was like, he looked at Mike and said, Mike, how about I do it? Mike looked at him like, Quincy, you can do the album? He's like, yes. Yeah, I'm doing, he's like, look, I'm doing all the music for this thing. Like, come on, I could do your album. The rest is history. Extraction is ready. Unless you can handle more of the enemy. The rest is history. Got off the wall and thriller. Just off that. Just off. Just off because of the whiz. Because of the whiz. That would have never happened if they weren't working together on the whiz. <laughs> 